I am Dr. Sunanda, consultant pulmonologist at Care Hospital, Nampalli branch. Uh, we have a full fledged pulmonology department. We have a lung function study machine. Uh, we have a bronchoscope. And uh, we, do, we treat various diseases related to lungs every day. Uh, we treat uh, asthma, uh, pneumonias, COPD, smoking related disorders. And then we treat a lot of infections in a day, including tuberculosis. Tuberculosis is quite uh, often diagnosed and uh, treated. And uh, we, we uh, also treat a lot of uh, drug resistant tuberculosis, the difficult pneumonias, the resistant pneumonias. And uh, we also uh, see a lot of uh, the serious kind of pneumonias, the, the serious pneumonias uh, which require hospitalization and which are on ventilators. And uh, we have also treated a uh, lot of uh, this fine flus over a few years. Uh, which have been uh, you know hospitalized and uh, which have been on ventilator support with uh, all monitoring we have all equipment we have all the critical care uh, uh, ICO support systems and uh, we have the critical care units and we have full fledged department and uh, we also apart from this we also uh, treat the preventive aspects we give patient education programs we advise them about the vaccinations the preventive care that is required for all these the prevention of pneumonias, for prevention of tuberculosis and, uh, and uh, for smokers we also do the de-addiction programs and we also give them tips on uh, uh, de-addiction therapy. Any patient coughing for more than two weeks definitely needs to be evaluated. For uh, the simple cough and cold, a patient may take a routine antibiotic and uh, uh, cough suppressants and all. Uh, lasting for three, four days, it's okay. But if it is lasting for more than two weeks, definitely needs to be evaluated with X-ray and other blood tests as required, as suggested by the doctor. So any patient coughing for or symptoms having for more than two weeks or patient having continuous fever in spite of antibiotics, the routine antibiotics or patient having loss of weight, loss of appetite. These are the patients who require uh, a complete evaluation, a thorough evaluation with uh, X-ray and uh, all the routine blood tests. And also people who snore at night, and who have disturbed sleep at night, who have daytime sleepiness. Uh, these are the people who need to be evaluated for sleep apnea. Because sleep apnea is a condition where there are, uh, so they, where there are episodes of cessation of breathing at night. And these episodes of cessation of breathing at night can be dangerous sometimes, can uh, cause uh, arrhythmias, the breathing, the disturbance in heart rhythm and hypertension. And they can, they are, uh, they can sometimes predisposed to a, a cardiac event like a myocardial infarction or some angina at night uh, during this apneic episodes. So these are the patients who have to be carefully evaluated for sleep apnea. Uh, for that we, we do a sleep study and evaluate the sleep rhythm and uh, also evaluate the breathing patterns uh, during the, uh, the normal routine sleep at night. And also people who have uh, uh, a smoking history uh, a smoking history uh, for more than uh, 30 years, 20 years. These are the people who are chain smokers for more than 20, 30 years. These are the people who need to be, to be evaluated for lung cancers. So they have to go for a screening test. Uh, we do a routine chest x-ray every six months for these patients. And also they need to be uh, counseled regarding smoking cessation and uh, the de-addiction therapy. And also they should be given the the importance of smoking cessation, the hazards of smoking, the, the various complications that are associated with smoking. So the, we, we, so we do a lot of uh, patient education programs. We teach them the hazards of uh, smoking, the, uh, the advantages of stopping smoking at any stage. And also we, the smokers are known to get infections. They are prone to get infections more often than non-smokers. So the, we advise them to go for uh, vaccinations, the influenza vaccine and the pneumococcal vaccines. We at Care Hospital, we have a multidisciplinary approach. We have team of doctors. Uh, we uh, have we, the patients who are very sick, who are in uh, the critical care units are uh, seen by team of doctors. When they have uh, various comorbidities, they're seen by physicians, critical care team, and also the pulmonologists and other uh, specialty doctors and uh, on referral they come and uh, see and we have a group approach and we have a multidisciplinary approach. We have discussions on uh, uh, serious patients on the critical uh, uh, cases. We discuss and then 
decide on the proper management. We have the infection control committee uh, team for uh, deciding the antibiotics. We discuss and decide regarding the antibiotics. And when we decide on high-end antibiotics, we discuss with our colleagues and uh, the critical care team and uh, other doctors and decide on the approach. And we have all the equipment for treating the critical care patients.